welcome back to another episode of Wolf Millionaire's YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through yet again another fraudulent Instagram account that has been brought to my attention and after careful and in-depth analysis, I've determined with 100% accuracy that this account is 100% fake. Now, if you're new to Wolf Millionaire, make sure you go to wolfmillionaire.com and enter your email address. Then check your inbox. I'll send you my free 20-page Instagram guide filled with tips, tricks, and strategies that you can implement right away to see faster growth and better engagement on your Instagram account. Now, let's dive in because I'm really excited to show you this account so that you guys can spot these fake accounts and not get ripped off. The account I'm going to talk to you today about is Fashion Digest. Now, this is another one that from a very high level might appear to be real. They've got a really decent logo, a very simple bio, and 1 million followers, which makes it look like an attractive page for people to advertise their uh, items. And as you can see, we have watches, we have suits and pocket squares, we have bracelets. Um, but let's take a deep, deep look into this account and I will show you exactly how and why I've come to the conclusion that they are fake. And you'll be able to do the exact same thing going forward with these skills that I'm teaching you for free so that you don't get screwed out of your hard-earned money. The first thing that we want to do is load up Social Blade. Now, you go to socialblade.com. This is the free web analytic tool that allows you to look at um, follower growth for Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch. So we're going to select Instagram. I've already put in Fashion Digest, so it's loaded up the account. And I've also clicked on Detailed Stats. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see the last month's growth day by day from this account. And as you can see, there's been some positive growth denoted by the green and then some no negative um, follower loss in the red. Now, the amount of up and down that I see in this account right away shows me that there's, you know, definitely something going on. It's not with 100% conviction at this point that I would say that there's fraudulent activity just because of the amount of um, changes Instagram's been making over the last six months that's resulted in um, accounts that have been around forever or new accounts to see um, less than stellar growth as well as a daily loss of followers um, and that's simply because most accounts are not growing as fast as they are losing their followers now it's very normal for large accounts to lose followers so don't think that if you go and do uh, your analysis on a page and all you see is uh, a slight loss a uh, daily slight loss um, for the last month. Instagram has made some big changes in the last month um, and a lot of that has to do with how fast they would um, put your photos or videos on the explore page thus generating a large amount of new followers. So when you're getting less um, time on the explore page and you're posting a lot of photos and a lot of photos in a day is, is anywhere from 12 even 8 to you know 8 to 15 16 photos a day um, can turn off a lot of followers. So people might come to your page because they've seen your photo or video on the explore page, they'll follow you. And then after a couple of days of seeing you post, you know, 10 to 20 images every day, they determine that it's a little too much for their feed and they unfollow you. So that's very normal. Now, the other thing to look at as we scroll down on social blade is the overall growth. Now this is only going to give us a certain amount of timeline, but it's enough to take a look at an account's overall growth. And just by looking at this graph, this is not indic indicative of a fake account. This kind of nice, gradual, even growth of an account, it follows along the organic growth lines. Unless you blow up in the media or um, you know are a celebrity that's just come on to Instagram or seeing uh, explosive growth because of you in the headlines, this is the kind of growth you normally would see for a uh, for a decent account. So. Let's take a look at um, this account's posts and uh, I'm just going to load up my phone and mirror it to the screen so that you guys can follow along exactly what I'm doing and see for yourself on your own phones um, the level of fake followers that this account um, has in its following, in its 1 million um, following. So stay tuned. I'm going to bring that up right now. All right, we're back and I've got the Fashion Digest Instagram account 
um, loaded up so that we can walk through this together. And let's take a look at their very first ad or their, their latest ad right here, uh, which is an advertisement for a watch. And I'm sure this company is not going to be pleased when uh, they get this video of mine in their inbox highlighting the fraudulent activity that they are paying for. So this post here uh, was posted 57 minutes ago. It supposedly has 3,500 likes. And again, on your mobile phone, you can click on the number of likes right here. So that's what exactly what we're going to do. Now, it's bringing up all the people that have liked this photo. So at first, everything seems to look normal. All the usernames are all kind of random. There's, you know, um, emojis and names and people who have written their profile name using capitals, small capitals, none. So this is kind of normal. So we just keep scrolling through this. And sometimes it's not always apparent. Um, but other times, oh, there we go. Here we go. Here's a lot of what looks like fake accounts. But let's double check because we never want to make a false accusation. So we're going to click on this first one. One follower, two following. No posts. Looks suspect. Let's check out this second one. Same thing. One follower, one following. No posts. This one here. Same thing. Zero posts, two followers, one following. This is not a good trend. And especially, you know, having them all kind of lumped together as if they've all liked it automatically. So that's the first sign that something's going on. And we'll just keep going. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So this is right here the proof that I was looking for. All of these accounts without profile pictures all have the same kind of um, setup too. They've got a username and then a first and last name, whether it's real or fake, um, with a capital um, in both spots for the first and last. So just by spot checking, spot checking a couple, we see that the trend continues. And it's not a good trend. So we just keep scrolling through and we just keep seeing the same thing. Look at all of these fake, 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 fake. They're just, they're everywhere. They're, they're just, it's not even, you know, trying to hide it. And then if we look into some of the other ones, oh, look at this. This one has a profile photo and yet the same thing. Zero posts, two followers, one following. Now, this is way too much of a coincidence to actually even consider that these accounts might be real. Um, it just, it's too much. And as we go through these, these other followers, we just see the exact same thing. Some of them have a little bit more photos in them. This one might be real. But you can just see how many of these profiles have no photos. And it makes it really easy to spot these fake accounts. So at this point, it's almost like, I don't know, at least 70, 80% of the people that have liked this post are fake. And if we keep going into another, see another count, zero posts, three followers, two following, no posts. Now, I came across some other things that I really want to show you guys. And it's something I'm going to keep digging into and probably highlight a little bit further on my blog. But I found some accounts that actually had photos. And <laughs> there's an actual real one. This one here, fake. Zero posts, 10 followers, one following. Come on. Zero posts. Now, some people don't post. That's very, very, very true. Um, but the fact that there's this many accounts that have very shady profiles. And I'm looking through this because I'm looking for a very specific um, flavor that I have been seeing on people's accounts. And it's possible that I'm going to have to find it on another account. So that right there just shows right off the bat that, you know, 3,500 likes that this supposedly got. I would be surprised. I'd be absolutely surprised if even 500 of these likes were real. It's probably closer to 250, maybe even less, which shows that this entire 1 million um, account 
is probably 75 or 80% or even 90% fake accounts. I want to scroll down because now I remember exactly where I saw it. We're going to click on this post here, which looks like it got 6,000 likes. And now we're going to just go and explore some random accounts. And see if I can find exactly what I was finding before I started up the video. So here it is. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if you want it on your phone, bring up this user. It's public, so you'll be able to see their, their post. And you'll see that the photos all look kind of faded, kind of pixelated. I don't know if it's going to translate through, but you see this kind of graininess. This tells me that some program has probably scraped the web, created this fake account, uploaded a fake profile photo or random photo, created a fake name, and went and followed a bunch of people. And probably all these other followers are also other fake accounts. If not that they've done the follow me, follow you thing with this account, and as a result has resulted in um, a handful of followers. But you see there's 16 posts. And if we look at all these photos, they all have this grainy, uh, degraded quality effect to them. And even more important, when we bring up the most recent photo, we see that the last photo was November 19, 2015. Now, this is just another thing that, given my absolute nerdiness and quest for exactly knowledge of what's going on, I found another little piece. So um, that, was the, that was one account. Let's see if we can bring up another one. Here's another one. Look at this. This is, this is crazy. This account here follows the same pattern, um, November 18, 2015. Now that could be completely random, but again, handful of posts, followers, and a massive number of people that are following. Here's another one. You see that? November 30th. So, so far we're three for three randomly, where the three accounts that I have brought up have last posted in November 2015. Again. 18 posts, handful of followers, 7,000 following. I bet you the next one I bring up, oh, this one looks real. Here's another one. 24 posts, 174 followers, 7,000 following. Do you see the pattern? Between 16 and 24 posts, pretty close to the same amount of followers, the last three that we've looked at, and another 7,400 people that they're following. And again, if we look at the photos, you notice, you see the pattern? See when it was last posted? November 19th, 2015. So these accounts were either spam created because all of these photos were uploaded on November 19th. Look at that. Doesn't matter where we are, all 24 of these photos, November 19th. And that's all that's uploaded to this account. It's fake. So not only are these accounts creating and buying fake followers that have no profile photos they've even evolved a little bit more that um, that one looks real here's another one December December 6 2015 fits the similar profile we've got 30 posts this one has 600 followers but again 37 or 7300 following I'll just scroll down some more, see if this is a, another continuing trend. Again, December 26, 2015. Fake, 31 posts, 550 followers. Again, almost exactly 7,300 following. This photo was December 26th. And if we go all the way down to the bottom of their page, oh, that one looks like April 23rd. So my guess on these accounts this one doesn't have um, the same kind of pixelated photos that we saw in the first couple accounts. Um, January 3rd, Jan nope, this one looks very real. But the ones that we saw that had the pixelated photos, here's another one. They just stand out and, and you can go and explore. 24 posts, 240 some followers, and again, 7,400 following. And if we look at these photos, October 23rd, 2015, they've got that pixelated, kind of faded, scraped look. 
which is just because it's probably been scraped, compressed, um, and then uploaded. And, and that's because these programs that are doing the uploading in, in mass bot style, they want these file sizes to be as small as possible so that the data draw on them um, is as minimal as possible. Uh, and that just makes their, their, their automatic creation of these fake accounts that much quicker, that much more efficient, and probably you know, cost less using the cloud servers that they're doing this with. Um, and again, we just look at this October 23rd. Let me scroll down to the first one. And look at that, October 22nd. So all, all of these 24 photos were posted between, between two days, another fake account. So this is just random. This is me going through these accounts random. You guys can do the same, um, you know, December 25th, 2015. Again, we have 29 posts, 270 followers. And again, this magic number, 7483. You can almost just look at that going forward. Look, 7480, fake, 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 7330. And again, I bet if I look at this, January 1st was the last one, April 16th. So these ones here, uh, my, I have a theory on these accounts that don't really fit the mold, like this one here, um, where it, to me it's looking like it's fake. You know, they've got 34 posts, 300 followers, again, 7,300 following. It's way too much of a coincidence that these people have this similar of a following. Um, even though this photo, like I showed you, was posted on January 1st. And uh, if we look through the accounts, we see that they were posted um, at different times. Now, my theory on this is because there was such rampant hacking going on where uh, a lot of people would click on things with their phones to you know, get free emoji packs or whatever they were advertising. And you've seen this, um, you know, free followers. A lot of people were clicking on these links um, up for these major accounts that were being hacked by these hackers. And once they clicked on the link in the URL, they usually um, had to download some app. And that app that you download on your phone basically gave full flat out access to um, your passwords, to all the apps on your phone. And I have a feeling that all these accounts that we're seeing that don't really fit the, the same day all the photos were posted mold, um, but do with this number of posts and followers and following that these accounts were hacked from the actual uh, original owner and they were locked out and these um, spam networks or these bot networks uh, were taking over these people's accounts um, to do exactly this. Um, automatically like people's content who have paid for them so that they look like they're real. And this just goes on and on. You can see, you can see how easy it is um, to see these photos. And if I take it one step further and look through the people liking them, we see that they're real, but again, they've probably used those automated um, like, or sorry, the follow unfollow apps like Crowdfire, um, because again, you know, they're following 134 people or following 7,400 people and only 134 followed them back. Um, and these are, these are again, probably real people because they've played the follow me, follow you game. But you know, I'll just do another random scroll down and see if I can just quickly find any more, but you get the idea. This, this here just screams fake again. We're in the November 12, 2015. This one here is also fake, October 30th. Again, all these photos were most likely not posted by this user. This definitely was not posted by this user. Um, again, you see October 30th, 2015, October 29. So they don't even try October 29. That's the nice thing about Instagram, the way they've set it up, that if you do a little bit of digging, like I'm walking you through, um, you can find these patterns very easily. It's crazy now that um, I'm finding fake profiles that have profile photos. It makes it a little bit harder for us to really pick through people's posts and who has liked these accounts um, to see if we can find these patterns, um, especially if people are using um, you know, a very small ratio, 10%, 25%. You have to spend a good 15, 20 minutes, you know, doing some random spot checking to find these accounts. And again, this is another fake account, 7,400. Um, again, this photo was posted November 17th. You can see that it's got a grainy look to the photos. Again, that's a dead, dead, dead giveaway. That's hilarious. This is actually a photo from Toronto. Um, and again, you know, November 16th, 2015, all these photos were posted on the same day. So there you go, guys. This is a probably the worst fake account that I've seen that I have reviewed um, out of all the ones so far. And uh, if you're still 
Um, if you're new to this video, make sure you go check out the other two videos of the accounts I've busted. They include Nexary, Dream.Lifestyle, Lux All Day, Car Society, and this one, Fashion Digest. Completely fake. And uh, now I'm going to go back and send some emails out to all their customers to watch this video that I'm going to upload to YouTube. So don't get, um, don't get scammed. Do your due diligence when you are going to advertise with something, especially when it comes to really big pages, especially when you've been reached out to by these pages. That's what a lot of these pages are doing to get this scam rolling is uh, they'll ramp up their accounts to um, you know half a million, one million followers, uh, make it look real by uh, buying these, these, bot, these bot programs that will like your content, um, and then they'll reach out to you and say, hey, we've, we, we can do this and this and this for you. And uh, sometimes they're professional, sometimes they're not. I'll see if I can get some of the emails and DMs that have been uh, sent out to some of my students and highlight them so that you can look. But it's a pretty good chance that anyone is reaching out to you proactively. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're scamful, but you know, it definitely means that um, you need to do your due diligence, especially if you've never heard of this account before. Okay. So that's it. Um, make sure you go check out my blog blog.wolfmillionaire.com and uh, sign up for my YouTube channel so that you can keep learning all of these tips and tricks and strategies to keep you safe, keep you growing and uh, leverage all of the growth that my successful students are seeing um, as they all are growing and making money using my Wolf Millionaire strategies.